105 Dacus Drive. That's where I'm at today, you guys. And I picked a doozy of a day to do a walkthrough because it is pouring down rain. But I kind of wanted to give a little walkthrough tour of this home while I am here. And it is a cute brick rancher. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It's um, about 1147 square feet. And um, I'm gonna pan it around and kind of show you a little bit of what I'm looking at right now. And it's a brick rancher, nice big, huge bay style windows. But this is the front porch of it. And this is a 0.65 acre lot. And this is the front yard, nice and flat. A nice little quiet subdivision, no HOAs or anything like that. But you can see it great <laughs> so we're gonna walk in and i'm gonna take you a little tour of this house and y'all it is so so pretty it is even though it is 1147 square feet it doesn't feel that small um and you'll see exactly what i mean when i pan it around now right when you first walk in the front door you have the living room space area here and these floors are extremely shiny these are beautiful hardwood floors throughout this home this right here like i say is a living room area and you have nice little built-in right there in the hallway but we'll get to that in just a minute but right here is the dining room area of this home again beautiful hardwood flooring and you have a wood cherry rail there that's really pretty. I like that. You could, uh, this would be very pretty if you wanted to paint it like a different color, but this dining room has a nice open floor plan toward the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen, beautiful hardwood um, cabinets. And this window overlooks the screened in porch to this home. And I'll show you in just a minute. This home has a utility building, a detached garage, and an RV shed. But it also already has a garage, which is right here, off from the kitchen. And it's a single car garage. Um, so it uh, fits one car. And you have the laundry room off from the garage. So... And we'll come back through and go down the hallway. And this is a beautiful Florence, by the way. This beautiful vinyl here is very pretty. Nice and light in colors. Now the hallway, you will come, let's see, to your first bedroom. Now the bedroom accesses the screened-in front porch, which accesses the backyard. And it's a nice little size and it does have a closet so you could use it as a third bedroom or you can use it as an office space. Um, that's what they used it for is an office space. And then you have your hall bathroom, full hall bath. And the countertops are nice and tall. They're, they're not very short. I know that's a pet peeve of some folks, but it comes up to above my, right, <laughs> well, above my belly button. <laughs> I can't stand real low counters um, in the bathroom. I can't, I hate bending down. So these are nice and high and very pretty. And then we will carry on. Do you have bedroom number two and then bedroom number three? And they're at the end of the hallway. They both seem to be about the same size. Again, hardwood floors are really, really pretty. And they do share a Jack and Jill bath. This is the half bath in this home. And it's a Jack and Jill style and it accesses over to your third bedroom. So it's very functional that way. You could close this off and just have this as your master bedroom with its own master bath. Um, but again, it's real nice just to have a Jack and Jill style if you had a guest and wanted them to ha have access as well. Nice build-in in the hallway 
Um, and then I'll show you the porch. We'll go out here. And this is the screened in porch. And it is very nice flooring in here. It's a very nice area out here. And you've got it's the I mean this is just a lot of space but this is a 0.65 acre lot and you can come in and access your garage from behind the home so you don't see the garage from the front part of the home I would show it to you um, but it's raining but that's that's nice as well I know some folks don't like their garage to be seen from the road and that's a really good feature but that's the RV shed and it's huge detached garage behind there nice space as well and then your utility building there the yard is not fenced in but it's a nice flat area and really easy to put up a fence if you wanted to so this home is listed at 176.5 it is a three bedroom um one and a half bath and like I said, it's like 1,147 square feet, but it really kind of feels bigger to me than that. But it is getting a lot of activity right now. So if you are interested and you have a realtor or whatnot, you may want to jump on this because I don't think it will be here very much longer. So if you have any questions, just feel free to message me. I'll be glad to answer them. If you don't have a realtor, you can always call me and I'll be glad to uh, show you this property and give you any more details. Um, so just message me on here or give me a call 864-276-1266. Thank you guys.